Hello guys, Sarah here, and bringing you the sixth episode of F1 2011 P24 Challenge. Um, if you've missed any of the previous episodes, please click the series playlist in the bottom left, and it'll take you to a whole playlist of the episodes. So let's get straight into this: the Canadian Grand Prix, the circuit Gilles Villeneuve, two DRS zones, one rather long and one um, sort of medium length. Uh, the first one, it's not very effective. Um, I would say you could you could max out the seventh gear without DRS, and I think you'll see in the in this race that I do that quite a lot, and I haven't even geared it short, so that's why they've got a second DRS zone, I guess, because it's not as effective, and the second one's a bit shorter, so it would be. The tyre wears medium, brake wear medium, downforce medium. The tyres, I'm not too sure, because after the last race in the Monaco one, the tyres actually went red, which is quite strange, because it was 10%, but got to take into account that it was 8 laps, not 6. And it's a 2.7 mile track. Very sh well, not very short, but medium medium length. And I think, guys, this will be the first race where I can get up to first. Because I don't know what it is about this track. I just blitz it. Like, every time... Like, I know it's kind of relative to what assists you have on and blah, blah, blah. But... The way I play it, I just completely like own it up, and it's just I've, I did that in 2010 as well. So I don't think it's something to do. I don't think it's to do with the AI or anything. Just generally, it just suits my style. I think so. Um. So let's see how far I can get up, and hopefully it'll be first. So um, enjoy the video, guys. All right, guys, Canadian Grand Prix. Let's do this. All right, and. We're off. Good acceleration here. Going to change straight to mix three. Want to get the fastest get uh, get off. And we've got the two K-drums there. We're going to go cut inside. We've got Perez there. And then I think that's Maldonado. And um, I think I broke a bit of my front wing. Not too bad. Uh, we passed the four Cindy's there and the uh, Williams. And I got Suari and Rosberg. Not too much of a match. Okay, now we're uh, this race has got a bit stable now. So Schumacher's ahead of us. Oh, God. He decreased in speed quite a lot. I don't know what that was. We caught up to him quite fast. So, Massa's sixth now. <laughs> Still gets me. Massa cannot be sixth in terms of 2012 pace. But we break late here. Gonna squeeze him out. And that was a nice clean overtake there. Petrol fifth now, and we're sixth. So, pretty good in the first lap. A little yellow flag that might have been because of me. Not too sure. So Petrov was a second ahead of us when we got to the line, but now I'm not thinking that. <laughs> Petrov, okay, we're going to go side, wheel to wheel, and we've got him, I think. Yep, we've got him. And we're just about, uh, nearly nearly hit the rev limiter there, so that's what I was talking about in the pre-show, about um, the DRS zone, the first DRS zone not being very effective, because you can hit the rev limiter hit the red uh, rev limiter straight away <laughs> don't know what the hell happened with my words there um all right so there's a 1.3 second gap to hamilton now so i'm gonna chase him going through left right i mean right left <laughs> hamilton still carrying that gap and the fastest sector there gap down to one second now so we would be in the dr zone if we were going to use drs so, um, and it looks like there's a bit of a train there, a train of three, which is, um, I think, Hamilton, Button, and Weber, I think. So, we're looking at Hamilton. I think we'll get him on this straight coming up, because we've just gone purple in that second sector. Yeah, so it's Hamilton, Weber, and Button then. And we're banging wheels there, Hamilton side by side. Oh, he's got us a bit, going to get a tiny bit of slipstream, then going to come back straight out, get a slingshot effect. Look at that front wing of the McLaren vibrating like hell. Wheel to wheel here, going to squeeze him a bit. And then we're going to go across the chicane. And let's see where he is. And he's, uh, well, he's quite a bit back. I don't know what happened there. I think must have blocked him off a bit. And that was the fastest lap of the race. As I said before, Canada is um, my favourite track in terms of just driving it. I can just whip in a good lap time. Even without DRS and Kurz. So uh, we're looking at Weber now. We're fourth. This is looking good to get a first place. We just need to keep up this pace. Looking at Weber now. Oh, God. Oh, I slammed him it. Please don't be a penalty. I really just slammed. I mean, he didn't go off the track. He's still... I think he's still fourth. Yeah, he's still fourth. 
so sh no penalty. Yeah, that was a bit aggressive, but um, not aggressive enough to get me a penalty. <laughs> Need to be a bit um cautious next time. So we're looking at Bond. We've gone fastest again this sector. We're just gonna cut through, and I think oh no, he's getting on a scale. We're gonna go, um come back for a slipstream. Get a bit of a slipstream, then slingshot effect should work. McLaren front wing is vibrating like nothing. And we're going to squeeze him, squeeze him, cross the chicane, and we've got that done. Sweet move there. Just squeezed him onto the left, then quickly turned in right for the chicane. So we're looking at Alonso now, within one second, so I think he's definitely within our grasps. Whew. We might get first. It's going to be our first first, guys, in this series. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's, 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 let's kill him. He's like prey. Look at him. Just hitting him a bit. <laughs> Giving him a bit of pre-warning that I'm there. <laughs> he, um, we've gone uh, five, uh, half a second fast in that sector. See, we're proving by the lap. Looking up Alonso now. Think I might get him on the straight or oh, no? We the gaps opening here. My game at this corner, touching his gearbox. He just didn't move out of the way. What are you doing, man? Get out of the way! God, he just parked himself there. Pretty good defending though, so can't really complain too much. So we're back a bit, but we're chasing up. We would be using DRS right now, but the challenge says we are not allowed to. And we just steam past him though. Got brilliant drive off that corner. Absolutely brilliant drive off that corner. We hit the rev limiter there. So, we're first at Canada. And we've gone fastest again. Pretty comfortable now. Pretty comfortable. I think it's safe to say we're going to keep this first right here. Definitely going to keep this first. 111.99, so 112 basically. Pretty good. Alonso second, Buttons third. Looking pretty comfortable here pretty comfortable. I'm not sure if I'll cut this video or not. Um, depends how I feel about it. You know what? I am going to cut it, guys. I think uh, um, I'll reassure you by showing you the table of results after this, but I feel confident that I'm not going to lose first. So I'm just going to cut the video here, and I'll see you in a bit. So guys, as I said, I cut the video there, and I did come in first, didn't lose first. Um, I actually made a two-second gap there. So that's the table, as you can see, uh, I'm first, Alonso uh, second, Barnes third, Hamptons fourth, and so on, as you can probably see. So uh, our first win, our first win from 24th, 24th to 1st, the full grid we overtook. Feels pretty good, and I think I probably knew it was going to happen. I knew from the start of the series that that was the one I was going to win, for sure, because I just feel so comfortable at Canada. So I think that's the end of the video then, um, I will see you next time in, I believe, uh, Valencia, which is the European Grand Prix, or the second Spanish Grand Prix, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you in Valencia, guys, um, if you like the video, uh, please give it a like or share with your friends, and um, I've been Arava, and uh, thanks for watching.